On this episode of the Twin Falls Travel Cast, we turn the clock way back to a time where the zebra-like Hegerman horse roamed. We'll see Shoshone Falls for more than its current majesty. We'll hear the story of its violent birth. And we show you how your family can enjoy a well-rounded educational experience. That's ahead on the Twin Falls Travel Cast. Standing in the knee-high grass and kicking up the dry dust of the present-day prairie around Twin Falls, it's a test of the imagination to see this area three to four million years ago as the floodplain of an inland Great Lake teeming with strange wildlife. Like America's Great Lakes, Lake Idaho was home to many birds, fish, and some interesting mammals. Out here, this would actually be part of a floodplain from Lake Idaho, and Lake Idaho is actually the size of one of the Great Lakes. Um, so you would see, you would see the Hagerman horse out here, you would see ground sloths, uh, a dirk tooth cat, which is a type of saber tooth cat, as well as creatures that you still find today, beavers, weasels, different types of mallards, pelicans, fish. A massive flood created optimal conditions for fossils. The Hagerman horse quarry contains one of the world's richest resources on fossil history. The Hagerman horse, the first known one-toed horse like modern-day equines, also shared similarities with the modern-day zebra. The internationally renowned diversity, quantity, and quality of the fossils found at the Hagerman fossil beds make this national monument the world's best time machine into an era before the last great ice age. We have found over 200 different types of plant and animal species um, in our fossil beds so far. and. Um, there's still a lot of research and digging, collecting going on, um, and new discoveries found every summer. And we also have the largest collection of Hagerman horses that have been found. And who likes dinosaurs more than kids? At the Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument, your imaginative young paleontologists are the honored guest, whether it be in the visitor's center looking at the public museum's fossils, in the discovery center uncovering fossils and learning by doing, or on guided tours of the park. No matter which activity you choose, you're sure to have fun learning. For the connoisseur of more recent history, the Hegerman area is home to both the hope of the pioneers, the Oregon Trail, and the World War II lessons of intolerance and fear, the Minidoka Japanese internment camp. While nothing more than ruins and wagon ruts mark these historic places now, the Twin Falls region and the National Park Service are committed to developing these monuments. This area is pretty diverse. It's really neat that there's the fossil beds and there's also actually within the visitor center right now the display about Minidoka, learning about Japanese internment camps next to learning about fossils, which is very interesting. Plus there's so many waterfalls in the area and there's some, uh, a few nice hikes and there's a lot of state parks. So it's a pretty fun area, plus there's the hot springs. There's a lot to do here. It's a fun place to hang out. Wandering around the Fossil Beds Monument or along the Oregon Trail, it's hard to miss the deposits of smooth rock that seem to be randomly scattered all over the landscape. For the origin of this melon gravel, we travel east toward the thundering sound of majestic Shoshone Falls. The unparalleled grandeur of North America's largest waterfall system, Shoshone Falls, is no match for the violence of its creator. The Lake Bonneville flood spilled from a massive inland sea, which is today's Great Salt Lake. This chaotic drainage was the result of volcanic activity and seismic movement at nearby Yellowstone. The cataclysmic event created the Snake River Canyon. And right here in Twin Falls, this area is spectacular because this is where those two flow channels actually merged and the North Flo Flow Channel poured back down into the, uh, the Snake River Canyon, and that created some of the large uh, alcoves we see, like Blue Lakes Alcove and, and Devil's Corral. The, the, the tremendous volume of water and the velocity that was moving scoured and, and removed large rocks from the canyon and flushed them downstream, so it actually excavated places like Shoshone Falls and the Durkees Lake area and removed all those boulders. And then as it moved further downstream towards Buell and Hagerman, 
where the canyon widens out a little bit, those large boulders uh, were deposited. The velocity slowed down in a wider channel and all those boulders were deposited further downstream. In the Twin Falls region, the amateur geologist or the recreationalist is both the crime scene investigator and the beneficiary of this violent historical act. The geological actions of Twin Falls past created one of the most magnificent regions for recreation in the Magic Valley. The Snake River Canyon is home to terrific boating, scenic and educational hiking, challenging kayaking, and all skill level mountain biking and rock climbing. The canyon's spectacular. If there, was, if there wasn't a canyon here, it'd be a little tougher to teach geology and, and talk about these things called rocks when they're you know, maybe an hour's drive away, but the canyon's very spectacular. Um, I like rock climbing, and so there's a lot of good rock climbing close by, and so that is one aspect that, that makes the, the Twin Falls area pretty enticing. The city of Twin Falls continues to work toward a more sustainable recreational future by assisting landowners in developing easements to endow lands back into the public trust. The location we're at right now is in the Snake River Canyon at the confluence of the Snake River and Rock Creek Canyon. And this is a, a location where the city of Twin Falls has purchased about 500 acres of land that we want to use, uh, create a, a recreational area. Um, we hope to have uh, all kinds of people coming down here enjoying trails and wildlife and uh, access to the, to the Snake River. The goal for this area is, is once again to create a recreational area but also as a site to create a, a, a wetlands. So whether you want to go on an adventure or just enjoy the scenery created by the geological forces that still shape the Magic Valley today, the Twin Falls area offers the young and the young at heart something to enjoy. You can reserve your hotel or other accommodations at TwinFallsChamber.com. You can also subscribe to the Travelcast at the iTunes Music Store or at TwinFallsChamber.com. Thanks for joining us, and visit all of scenic Idaho at visitidaho.org. Adventures in Living.